Star Mega Sentinels of the Multiverse. And someone requested that I put these up earlier. I didn't think I could do it this early, but I forgot about Martin Luther King Jr. Day, so yeah. Here we are, Monday night. The issue is fairly fresh. We can go ahead and give it a shot. So tell me if you guys heard this one. Two aliens, a robot, and a cowboy walk into a bar. Long story short, the punchline is murder. So we have our villains in the multiverse one shot up. We have Ermine leading the pack of proletariat, freight train, and friction against, you guessed it, a cowboy, two aliens, and a robot. Specifically, Crown of Ranger, Skyscraper, Tempest, and Omnitron X. It's just as Comrade Blade explained, the, the portal will lead us to the Silver Gulch, where we will find these aliens and destroy them with the might of the people. That would be proletariat speaking. Ermine yawned. She was a little tired of proletariat's habit of getting himself worked up. Sounds great, old Starface. Where is Comrade Blade, anyhow? Crackle electricity flickered in the air as friction intervened. He trusted us with this mission. I know we can do it without our... We can do it on our own, without anyone else. Frytrain slammed a massive fist into a no less massive palm. Friction is right. Now let's get rolling. All aboard. So your clue here is... This portal will lead us to Silver Gold. You're gonna get hit with the portal a couple times. And just real quick, out of curiosity, how many portals are in Silver Gulch? So you gotta go to the environments, Silver Gulch 1883, they'll give us some music here, and there are two sustain the portal, so we're gonna get hit twice. So, let's dive right in. Now, there is going to be a little bit of an element of chance in here, because Skyscraper can shuffle the deck. Crown Ranger can too, but it's not as bad. It's pretty much just gonna be Skyscraper, I think. So, new game. Hopefully we don't get screwed over too badly. Oh, hi folks. I'm gonna steal your stuff. Think good and hard, partner. I aim to put you down, and I don't miss. So, I'll let them get set up before they, I even start talking. Constant Prattle comes out because that's her thing. She tosses a card from the top of each deck at the end of her turn. Proletariat puts out two clones. Fright Train puts out Engine of Destruction, and then Shock Dampener, and I forgot, Stolen Gear or something for Friction. Ah, it was Stolen Gear. So Ermine's gonna do the Long Con, that heals her, and we all have to discard. So, for Chrono Ranger, we aren't really gonna do much with Ranger's Mark, but we can't really afford to discard, so I'm gonna get rid of just doing my job. We are going to get rid of the detectable relinking because I'm not really seeing us use this to be honest. We have to get those cards into play first, which is not going to be that easy. So goodbye. I'm gonna toss into the stratosphere. Yeah, you hit the guy with the highest HP. This would be a good comp with shackles, it's just I don't see it working out. And here the flechettes are so freaking important. We're gonna get rid of reset. So she's healed, she reveals impromptu high, so she's going to hit the guy with the highest HP, and then everyone has to discard their top card, villains and environment included. So the environment tossed, what exactly? Tyler Hayes. Probably should actually read some of the text on these. And that's when you walked right into my trap, as if you didn't realize I'd be here waiting for you, which really is a shame, considering. And she constantly prattled. I kind of feel bad for the Wraith, that's like the worst type of villain. When you fight the people, you fight all the people. A frenzied monster hellbent on destruction, he knows no peace. Papa. You must protect the dampeners, otherwise your speed suit will be your coffin, barren blood. Hey, these things are great, lots of warning messages though. It must be an error. Of course it must be an error, what else could it be? So. We are going to use Terrible Tech Strike, we are going to pop Fright Train for the bonus damage, and the person I want to kill last is going to be Friction, so I'm going to send this into Ermine because Proletary will redirect it into his clones. And there was something here that I think I should have explained, but oh well. So we discarded that, that was the top card, Displaced Armory is decent, not gonna lie. Thunder and Mud, enough is enough. I don't even think Doc is in any of these decks, but I could be mistaken. Doc Tusser in... How do I see your deck? He, oh, 
yeah, Doc Tusser is in his deck. So Doc Tusser's gonna heal if he hits the field, which hopefully won't happen. So we're gonna uncheck him. And it doesn't really matter who we ping because it's just one damage. We can't really play Danny Boy because it's Gales off the number of bounties, so it'd just be like an equipment play. I'd rather deal the four damage, to be honest. It's gonna be the same too. I'm going to pop Fright Train because he's annoying. Got the Masada. Sadly, that's not going to be of any use either. We need the Compound Bow or the Neutralizing Dart. So, Psychic Damage for each clone on the field. Defensive Formation. They piled on Skyscraper. So... We're going to catch a ride. Doesn't matter who does this, you don't have Wraith in play or anyone with any sort of nemesis advantage, so just pick whoever you like. In this case, Chrono Ranger, because pew pew. We're going to hit Fright Train for the bonus damage of 3 and then a follow up of 2, so a grand total of 5 damage dealt there. And by going tiny, we can play Link cards. So we want to play the one here. Forces the villain to discard the top card of a deck. I'm actually going to slap this. You know what, let's put it on Proletariat. What did we discard? Ooh, that was a big block. <laughs> and then there's no point in playing this because there's nothing in the environment, so we're going to skip. And I want to leave that out there even though that can be so fun to play. Actually, do I want to leave that out there because we're going to wipe out... Yeah, I'm going to leave that out there. Top card should be the Micro Assembler. And I'm going to use that power next turn. And I'm not going to use her base, so... Yeah. Unstoppable Momentum. Ouch. And... We're going to toss the Masada, I think. There's no damage reduction here, so... And now, as nice as the Hailstorm is to just deal damage across the board, we need to nuke some specific targets, and we can use his power to deal damage across the board. So we're going to do a Chain Lightning here, and as you may have guessed, the first shot is going to be into Fright Train. Second shot into Ermine, because she's the next annoying one. And then we want to deal damage to the Shock Dampener so that she can start hurting herself. And then power across the board. Now, order here doesn't matter because the clones... Actually, hold on, does order matter? Yes, order does matter. You want to hit the clones first. So, if you say this is the guy with the lowest HP, he doesn't take any damage. So, we're going to say, no, he is not the lowest. He takes one damage. Now, this one's going to take damage. And now we can hit him, which we can redirect into this one. And no, that's not the lowest. And there you go. That's how we maximize our DPS here. The rest doesn't matter. Friction's gonna play some one-shots, because that's what she does. The number of surge cards in the trash should be zero, so nothing should... Oh, Ermine discarded something. So you know what, we'll have this go into Omnitron. I'm not gonna get us a Blade of Coding, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to that. No ongoings in play. Everything I have in play is an equipment. And in case you're wondering, it's just that one card right here. So, we are going to use the flechettes here. We're going to pop this so it doesn't matter which one's high or low since they're not equal anymore. We're going to get rid of the constant prattle so we minimize our discards. That will actually help friction if you leave it alone. And now, order here doesn't actually... Eh, it matters a little. No, it doesn't. We're still gonna hit the clones in this order because one of them is going to die this turn. And then when we hit this, it's gonna redirect it to the one with the lowest, killing it. And then two damage across the board. Or three for Fry Train. So I'm gonna use his power on himself. I don't really see a reason to use it on villains. You may want to discard something, but oh well. 
So I'll put this in play. Uh, unfortunately, I don't know if I'm going to get another coating to actually use that, but we've got Singularity, which we're going to start building up towards. So sustain the portal. There's no reason you want to discard the top card of the environment deck. So skip this. Two damage across the board. This clone is going to die here. Order, I don't think really matters, but we're going to play it safe. Now, Fry Train's going to take three damage because of Engine of Destruction, but everyone else is only two. You have to remember, Villain's mode is just a damage race. Your goal is to kill them before they kill you. So Equity is going to hit... Oh, discard Tantrum. That's good. Omnitron lower. Tempest, take this one. Now, Ranger's Mark won't do anything, but we can start working on building up that Singularity. So we are going to put out Danny Boy, and we are going to ping the Fright Train for an extra damage. I don't think we can kill him before his turn. There's our compound bow. Sharing the struggle brings out two clones. since they seem to be attacking the guy with the highest HP. So we're going to play them. Oh, no, we don't want to use this yet. Engine of Destruction's our friend. And if you don't believe me, watch this. We're going to play the Micro Assembler, we're going to slap this on Sky. Then we are going to use the Micro Assembler, discarding the Aggression Modulator to fish out a Compulsion Canister. We want this in play, and we're going to slap this on Fry Train. Now watch this. Be this is the increased damage he deals, the increased damage he takes. And now, if he, if you really wanted to, you could hit Proletariat with this. Since it's psychic damage, it's going to bypass his reduction. If I were to do this, it's going to knock him down to 15. It's not really a bad idea to do it, I guess. Do it. And we pulled Monolith. That's going to be helpful for next turn so that we can mitigate some damage when Fry Train goes down. So off the rails, highest HP takes some damage. We'll have this one go into Chrono. Eeg. So we're going to play the Hailstorm, and now we are going to use the Hailstorm. And if you're wondering why we're doing this, we want to kill the gear of uh, Friction before she plays. And now that I think about it, I haven't really been going over these. I want to take a step back. Danny can get a bit rowdy. Sada, as much as I prefer my six gun, this is a fine piece of work. The assembler. I do not understand why you think she is creepy. She is so full of use. And in case you didn't understand, the assembler is this centipede-like thing. I must fight. I must fight the Aeneid. So this is binding one of the things in the Temple of the uh, Temple of Anubis to work in your favor. Hope you know what you're doing here, because I think you're crazy. Arse. I lost a left hook. You are big. I like that. It is good to undo the leash. So I don't know if that's who this is exactly. I kind of want to say that's Akash Buddha, but sure. Yes, by all means, clump together. Inclement weather? Weather patterns should not be able to derail our attack. Grand Warlord Voss. Um, I just want to kill this first. Now she'll start to damage herself. This will also limit her card plays. And order otherwise does not seem to matter. Actually, I wonder if I should have had Fry Train damage himself. He would have dealt three damage because of Engine of Destruction giving him another plus one. Oh, I think I can still kill him before his next turn, if not, oh well. Um, Proletariat's gonna redirect this into the clones. Order here does not matter. You're the lucky loser. And the clone still takes it. 
damage to friction. We pulled another grievous hailstorm, but it's no good. We can toss it worse come to worse. Unhealthy speed. Each hero target one melee damage, deals herself one lightning damage, and then she plays a card. Speed sidestep, we can take care of that next turn. So let's see, we want to use the elemental exo chassis. We can use our power on ourselves once again. We will put this in play, we get our end of turn card draw. Focus Plasma Cannon, we'll put this into play and hopefully we don't lose it. Now there's nothing for me to discard, so we skip this. But in case you didn't notice, that was another equipment card I slipped into play. So sustain the portal. Now we're going to skip this. Since I have that Elemental Exo Chassis in play, Omnitron is not going to take any damage. Proletariat's going to lose his clones here. Yeah, I think Frytrain's going down soon. Let's kill this one. Actually, yeah, order does matter. We need to kill this one before he takes the hit, otherwise this clone will still be standing. Now order shouldn't matter. Yeah, Frytrain's gonna die to lab. And I meant her power, not probably where your minds went in terms of gutter. Now we can put Slip Through Time back on top of the deck to save it from destruction. So let's do that. We will have Tempest take this hit. Seers revealed. That means Chrono takes a hit as well as Sky. So, we can use the compound bow here. And is he out of clones? Yeah, he is. But I think I'd rather... Actually, hold on, if I do this, that'll knock him down to... I could take him out similar to when Ermine goes down. Let's do it. Oh yeah, I'd waste bullets as soon as waste wounds. Chrono Ranger. So, pew pew! And then we'll hit him with Psychic, just because. Even though he doesn't have any clones left. Sudden contract, that's gonna be helpful. Flanking maneuvers, that's nice. He shouldn't be able to take advantage of this because he has not clones out. So we want to destroy the speedy sidestep. This is basically her synaptic redirection or whatever. So goodbye. Cost me my resonator, which kind of sucks, but doesn't really matter. Um, if I did not destroy that, then I couldn't singularity her anyways. So we're going to do monolith to protect the team, as well as grow gigantic. And time to clap. Good night, Fright Train. It would be nice if I could pick up my canister sometime soon, but oh well. And then order here doesn't matter. I just hit Fright Train first because he was going down. We won't hurt our teammates. Colossal left hook. Unfortunately, I think that gets discarded. So this is going to get blocked courtesy of the monolith. For Tempest, we want to do the genebound shackles so that we can start hurting whoever is the highest HP, in which case it's her, surprisingly. So, two cold damage. We want to... Order here matters, by the way. So you want to hit her first. Then you want to hit him. Now you want to hit Ermine. Yeah, she is. And right there, we did an additional six damage that turn. So each villain target takes two lightning damage. Ermine's on death's door next to her. Here's the long con, which I knew was coming. We're gonna give us Ranger's Mark. We lost our left hook. We're gonna get rid of shielding winds because we have duplicates. And we don't really need the reactive sub uh, reactive plating subroutine. Damn it, that just healed her mind. I forgot all about that. So Hermetic hits the field, speedy sidesteps out. Um, 
so I can hit her. We can embrace the singularity. Now we no longer need this. We do not need this. Don't need this. I don't think we need this. So how many have I discarded so far? I think that's four. Doesn't one of these tell you if you click it? Bleh. Oh, right here, fifth card. So this is going to be the last one. We don't need Danny Boy anymore. So that's going to be five across the board. That will be enough to kill these two. Her medic's gonna go down anyway, but let's hit him first, just for the scholar. Good night, Ermine. Good night, Proletariat. And then she's going to block this with her sidestep. That's why I wanted to make sure I dealt five other than just picking these two off. So we want to reveal the top card of Chrono's deck. Eye on the prize, we'll put in play. That's gonna give us a card draw and a card play. We will ping her for one damage. Got Hunter and Hunted, which is helpful. We're going to play the Sun Contract, because this is going to increase our damage. Well, it's going to give us an additional uh, ping, as well as allowing us to pull by any means. So we slap that on her, and then we can hit her for uh, two damage. Cyrus Hayes. Skyscraper will block all but one point. So we lose two cards on top of our deck. Order doesn't matter because we're ending it right here. We're going to play Hunted and Hunted. Hunter and Hunted because even if he didn't finish her off, this would. By any means was destroyed. Damn, don't you hate when that happens? There you go. Quick, easy mint because it's villains mode. I can't really stress this enough. Villains is just a damage race. Maximize your DPS and you'll win. It's going to be a lot more annoying when they start throwing advanced ones at us. Not really looking forward to that. As I said, I'm not really a fan of the mode. I imagine it's going to be a lot better once Villains of the Multiverse hits and we actually have a lot more variety. But right now, when we're stuck with the basic five, it's, it's not the greatest. Anyway, there you go. Quick, fast, easy, whatever you want to consider it. We are out of here. So, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching.